time for a video that's a long time coming. I mean, do you mind? Do you mind? Stop looking for those damn tapes. Anyways, a long time coming. I watch anime. I've been watching anime apparently since 1997 or so. And there is one thing that really does start the war. The war is subbed versus dubbed or basically the original one versus the not so original one. It's really amazing to just tell you that flat out. I can just be a jerk and say Japan just touches too high. The good news is that they're able to do it. They're able to do it when it comes to anime. In anime, they can easily do it, but adapting to live action, it sadly will not. It'll most likely be second rate always. It technically will be always second rate because there's some times where they do need to have someone outside their race to be a part of it. And luckily, they are willing to maybe do it. We see it in Super Sentai, we see it in Common Rider. Common Rider, they had one for. Let's see. Was it? Yeah, Common Rider X8 had one. Common Rider Wizard had another person. Even Super Sentai right now, Lupin versus Lupin Ranger versus Paddle Ranger, they have someone right now, which is like, wow, they're just trying to. They're, they're beginning to start to do this. And as soon as they're able to master it, holy crap. Power Rangers, we don't need you. <laughs> Power Rangers, we don't need you anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh, if they're able to broad that market, make that market actually grow. Oh, frick, but we're talking about anime. We're not going to talk about Super Sentai, Power Rangers, and so on. But as soon as they actually corner the market and figure out how to do that for Kamen Rider, dude, they're made. Because everyone around the world will be able to watch it now because they are putting lots and lots of different ethnicities into it, which that works. That works perfectly fine. I mean, good job, man. As for anime, it's really hard, actually, if you think about it, because there's many things I actually subbed where I actually watch normally, like, for instance, Yokai Watch. And it's sad where, just like with Power Rangers, it's like, you guys don't watch the season you're adapting, just like Disney. Have you really listened to all the voices of the yokai watches, all the yokais? Because, oh my gosh, what they gave Riff Raff, a.k.a. I don't remember his Japanese name. Holy crap, what the fuck? <laughs> Worst dubbing ever. Worst chosen idea ever. And then you have some good ones, like for instance, um, what was his name? Komasan. Awesome. They did a great job adapting him. They did a great job. Oh my gosh, you deserve a high five, but there's many times where you don't deserve it. And of course, there's even some craziness, meaning the freaking departure from four kids going to Cartoon Network and how the Pokemon sound a little bit wonky. It's like, yeah, it's like, of course, there's always a shifting and weirdness when it comes to it because some actors come and go. But you can notice it for that one. Meanwhile, when it comes to the original content, Japan, they have the same voice actor for so many damn years. And it's like, dude, why couldn't you do that? It's like four kids. Listen, I get you never thought that you lose Pokemon, but at least allow them when it comes to the show getting moved. The actors can move as well, because other than that, you'll just make it sound very, very what the fuck. <laughs> and I wonder if Ash has changed his voice again since he's with Disney. Either way, it really is a sad show where it's like, oh, my gosh, I'd rather keep the original all the way to 2007. As soon as you jump into the newer version, it you can tell that the voices are different, but then you eventually will be saturated enough to where you listen to the old one it's like oh my gosh it's different from this one it's like my goodness and it's kind of funny where sometimes the japanese version is superior when it comes to acting and what they chose versus the actual adaptation of americans the american the american the english dub is like yeah 
Sometimes they don't hit the mark and sometimes they get it even better. What we want is better. It's like you guys get to choose ethnicities. You get to choose ethnicities. You should technically be able to do this. And sometimes you can't really match it. Sometimes the person that really matches is most like a lesser known actress or actor and you have no way to contact the person. And the person might be miles away and etc. Where it's like, damn. But more than anything, it's like, it's hard to be able to watch the sub version and then watch the dub version. Like, for instance, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super. Well, Dragon Ball Z, basically, I watched the English version. I am familiar with the English verses to that. And then we go to the Japanese version. It's like, oh, my gosh, King Kai sounds so horrible in the Japanese version. Goku sounds horrible in the Japanese version. Piccolo's kind of all right. Gohan's kind of all right. Well, you get used to Gohan. Vegeta's kind of all right. It's like there's some that's like it's all right. And others is like, oh, what the frick happened to you? <laughs> Krillin, Krillin got a little bit. Yeah, Krillin, you can notice, too. It's like lots of people you can notice that they're. They sound completely different and some actually sound very similar. I think King Kai was a better choice, which is like, there you go. Pat on the back for whoever. Oh, Funimation. Even though I still won't let go, which is like, man, the translation stuff. This is bullshit. <laughs> it's really bullshit. It's like, I'm going to continue to bring this up until the end of time because it's bullshit. So let's go with Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh got dubbed, but it never got the original version like the zero year the zero season it was never dubbed i guess it makes sense why not but more than anything it's like but dude <laughs> four kids had the smart idea when they said black magician they said oh dark magician funimation how many years was it now Mm, 17 years 18 years 18 years 18 years um, something like that you're telling me you guys aren't smart enough than four kids who lost Yu-Gi-Oh who lost actually I guess they technically kept Yu-Gi-Oh until the very end I guess they lost Pokemon though it's like the guys who lost Pokemon you're telling me you're not smart enough to actually think Black Goku Dark Goku. It's like you guys don't. You guys have been translating so damn long. How exactly did you get to the point of where you don't even know that? Oh, in Japan, they don't have a word for dark. It's like dark type Pokemon. It's like, yeah, they have dark type Pokemon, but I bet chances are, like, for instance, let's, let's look what Umbreon is. Umbreon in the Japanese version is called Blackie. And I'm pretty sure it's a good idea you didn't do that because that would be racist as frick. But it's like, yeah, see, they didn't call it darky, even though that's even that's not good either. But notice the fact that they don't really have a word for dark type. We as Americans, we as those who are English, basically Nintendo America, whatever, Pokemon USA, they figured out that oh, dark type, not black type, dark type. They figured that shit out. They figured it out. And you're telling me you guys don't know that Japan doesn't have a word for air. Like the air we breathe. They have nothing that is like that. They don't have a word for dark. Like for instance, look, Yama Yugi and stuff like that. It's like they don't call him Dark Yugi. We, Shogun Jump, or whoever translated it, figured out, oh, we should say Dark Yugi. It's up to you to figure out that black means dark and you failed. You failed the damn test. What the frick? What the frick? Not to mention Super Saiyan Blue, dude. <laughs> Blue Super Saiyan. I know there's a little bit of a scolding lesson too, but it's like, dude, why? The, how the frick can you guys not figure this, this out at all? And heck, even when it comes to these days where they used to tiptoe, now they don't tiptoe and you're like, gods, gods, gods. They sometimes use deities and it's like, that's the word you should be using, deities. 
Yeah, you can use the God of Destruction, but you should also use deities as well, man. You don't see Marvel going around being like, oh, God, 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 God. Not really. Not really. <clears throat> Anyways. It is kind of hard. That, like, for instance, one, one Punch Man, I saw the Japanese version. I saw the English version. It's kind of okay. But I like the Japanese version better. Just because. It's like, you get your preference. Usually, if you see the one first, whichever one gets it first... You actually are used to it. And sometimes the first one does good. Sometimes you might actually have to maybe take a bite and see if like the other version might actually be better. Which, of course, when it comes to Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, no, it's not better at all. <laughs> it's not better at all. But the new characters that they bring out, it's like, oh, damn, you guys wrecked them. So it's like it depends on which way you go. You could actually make it good for you or bad for you. Like, for instance, if you just don't watch it whatsoever and you just watch the English version. But if you mix and double dip like I'm doing with Hero Academia, I double dipped. I actually was like, I am i can't wait for you, Toonami. And I just freaking just sped through. It's like, frick it. And it was very hard actually listening to the Japanese voices and then listening to the English voices. It's like... Ugh, it, <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> it's like sometimes they capture it, sometimes they don't capture it. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know really, but friggin' geez. Well, at least the goodness for when it comes to All Might, pretty cool. They even got Piccolo to get into this. That was cool. That was very cool. Sailor Moon, I'm just not gonna do it. <laughs> it's like Sailor Moon, they just adapted it for the second time and they dubbed it even though. Luckily for those in Japan, they don't have issues. They're able to get the real actual people who voiced it a long time ago to voice it again. For us, fub us. They're in Canada, frick that. We need to get new people. And like, uh, even if new people for the original version that they adapted, even with that, I'm like, yeah, no, I'd rather watch the Japanese version. I'm sorry, but i rather either get the original voices we're used to or frick you. <laughs> and as for the Sailor Moon Crystal adapted, they dubbed it. I'm like, I'm not sure if I'm even willing to do it. Plus, I watched the Japanese version anyways. I didn't even finish it. But still, it's very hard to. It's very, very hard to actually do this. Uh, even if they actually reduce the whole lesbiana crap in there. It's like, even so, it's like, even though it's a little bit reduced, it's not as reduced as enough as you think whatever man but more than anything it's just the big fight of dub versus subbed it's like it depends on which one you like the most but it's also depending which one you go first like for instance whichever one you choose let's just say maybe metal alchemist if you choose to go with the english version you most likely like the english version for the longest time if you go for the japanese version then the english version might actually do good or do bad Oh yeah, the best one I could say of a good one that they did bad to good was Sword Arc Online. The original one was pretty good, and then they decided to dub it, and Kirito was a piece of trash. Man. The person who voiced Kirito sucked. I'm sorry, but that's just how it goes. It's like sometimes you can match the person, and sometimes you don't match them. It sucks. It sucks when they can't match the Japanese version, but of course, you technically don't supposed to watch those. They're not supposed to be given to us. We actually supposed to wait until we're given them. And that's the suggy part of it all where it's like, okay, so you're telling me I should not even know it exists, but the internet exists. It's like, yeah, so I don't supposed to know it exists.